Hello everybody, I'm Serti and welcome to Planet Crafter. In this video we're going to go over how to get all 11 fish eggs and also how the animal boosts work, uh, what percentage each fish contributes towards boosting that particular activity down here and what's the best way to do it. So we'll start off with the fish. Now uh, at the beginning you only have access to two fish that are unlocked. But if you go into the bio lab, there are three items, essentially three items that you need to make fish. And they're all pretty much the same, um, except for the differences in the components. So phytoplankton, mutagen, and fertilizer. For fish number one, which is the Provios, we will need phytoplankton A, mutagen tier three, and a fertilizer. I'm gonna to refer to this as recipe A for future reference. Uh, phytoplankton B, because there are three of them, there's phytoplankton A, B, and C. Uh, anything with phytoplankton B, I'll refer to as recipe B, and phytoplankton C will be recipe C. So, you can make Provios eggs in the incubator by using this recipe. Phytoplankton A, mutagen tier 3, and fertilizer. So, that's, that's the first one we're going to look at. We can also get those eggs by going out to our water life collector. Have a look. And there it is, the Provios egg. Now this has an animal multiplier of 100%. Okay, so you do find them randomly. And you also, in the life water collectors, will find the phytoplankton. Now, I'm only showing A's here because I've got, I've got these set to supply to containers inside my base. The B's and C's are slightly less available than the A's. Uh, so obviously the A's container is full and this is how it worked out. Anyway, not a big problem because we have all everything that we need. Now the second fish, which is the Vilnus, is 150%. Now I don't have one here, but I have one on the wall. And uh, let's see, I do have the Vilnus here. Okay, so these are also produced with the same recipe, but they can't be found in the lake water collector. So you'll use recipe A, that's the phytoplankton A. The third egg is the Guerrero, which has an animal multiplier of 150%, and that uses recipe B. So the Guerrero uses phytoplankton B, mutagen tier three, and a fertilizer. The fourth one is the crom, which can be created with that same recipe B as uh, the Guerrero. And that has an animal multiplier of 200%. And then the Yulani starts using recipe C, the phytoplankton C, mutagen tier three, and fertilizer. And then the sixth one is the Ailera, which has a multiplier of 300%, and you'll notice a difference. It uses phytoplankton C, so the C recipe, but it uses, uses mutagen tier 2, not tier 3. Okay, so that, that's, the, that's the top one that uh, is available in the recipes to craft, but it's not the top one that you can craft. We'll get to that. The next one is the Tegeti. Now, that one, there is no recipe for it, but it can be created using recipe tier 3, but also in two other places on the map. The Crater Lake and the Zeolite Cave. So let's pop over there and have a look. Yeah, I have a life water collector set up in my Zeolite Cave. Oopsie. And if we go to that, you see we get all the phytoplanktons, but we also get the Tegeti eggs with a 300% multiplier. And now we'll pop over to the crater. All right, so we're on the eastern side of the crater. I have a life water collector down here. And right there, the Tegeti is available in this area. I've been through quite a few of these quite a few times and it's possible that I've missed that there are some that can be created in these life water collectors but so far I haven't seen any changes from what I'm telling you right now. So that's the Tegeti done 300 percent. The eighth one is called the Akaru and this can be this can be created using recipe B so the phytoplankton B and can also be found in two places in two separate biomes uh, the warp gate and the canyon. So let's go to the ring first. And I have one out here. Right. Uh, yeah, I've emptied this out a few times, so there's quite a few. So this has lots of Ikorus, animal multiplier 325%. Now, I've also found that I can get them from those potholes uh, in this area. So if we just head to the east of the ring, I have a life water collector in here as well. Okay, more Ikaru eggs over here. 
we'll head to the west of the, the warp gate, which I call the ring, and down into the canyon biome. So this is the canyon biome, and we have more Ikaru eggs. Super. So, that finishes with the 325. Uh, the next one is the Bayou or Buyu. I'm not quite sure I'm pronouncing it right. And that one can be created uh, with recipe C, so the phytoplankton C, and can also be found in the wilderness area, which I call Eden Valley. So, and off we go to Eden Valley. All right. So we have a life water collector here. And there we have the Bayou, Bayou, Buyu eggs and they are animal multiplier 350% can be found in this area and also in uh, by create by using recipe C in the incubator I have another life water collector on this side and this delivers the same okay then now we're getting to the really big ones the next one is the Tulu it has a 400% animal multiplier you can craft it using recipe C but it's also available in the waterfall biome. Right, now anyone playing this uh, in, or anyone who hasn't played the, the new update will not recognize this place because it's changed quite a bit. So here's one. Now, this is a strange thing because in the main lake in front of the waterfall, I haven't found any eggs yet. However, if we head just a little inland, this spot, which is, let me just show you, it's like the, the first lake, the first little pond that you get to. You will find Tulu eggs with a 400% multiplier. Now, to be honest, I haven't had a, a, lot, of, a lot of them come up, but there, there's been enough. I, I have been able to create quite a few with recipe C. And that brings us to the big one. So let's head back to base for that. All right, we're back at main base and the rain has finally decided to slow down which is great so recipe c is the only way that i have found that you can get the golden fish eggs and they are a 500 animal 500 percent animal multiplier so these are the big ones and this is our fish number 11. as you can see this is what they look like when they're swimming around the, the fish and fish animations are really good this i also used recipe c for and i, I have played around with them now you're going to get a lot of ulani eggs while you are using this recipe a lot and these are pretty random i've i've been through the process a few times to get a variety of the the high yield fish and the way i do it is if i get a if i get egg number five i pop it into the recycler let me show you there's ulani and because you get lots of ulani and pop it into your recycler and you recover those goods and you can put them back into the incubator and just keep retrying until you get the fish that you want. So that's that part. Okay, the next part is boosting your animal terraforming. There are a couple of things that may interest you. First of all, uh, you've seen the, the aquarium. This is the aquarium tier one. You can put a couple of eggs in there and it looks pretty nice, nice display case. Uh, there is on the other side, the aqu aquarium tier two this one is really cool it's a big dome big uh, sphere and you put you can put up to three eggs in here and the fish will swim around looks very cool and then the third way to use your eggs is with fish farms these are the fish farms they each take one egg and you can put a fish in and it just it creates a lot of movement in the environment especially under the water but you can see that from above the water it looks very cool all right now, the benefits, uh, they all add to your animal score. However, if we have a look at each of them separately, so let's start with the aquarium tier one. Now that, that gives you four animals per second. That's pretty low considering the first thing that you need uh, to unlock the, the second set of eggs, which would be the Gerrero and upwards, would be to have an aquarium tier one, I think. Okay, so that's four animals per second and that's got two eggs in it and you can use those eggs the eggs obviously multiply that four, four per second second way is uh with your aquarium tier two this produces 65 animals per second and obviously you have the the multiplier on top of that so 
those are pretty cool. They they add to your animals. Uh, the aquarium tier, tier two also adds to your insects and plants. Um, although those can't be multiplied. Nice, nice for display purposes, but not really great for production. And then there is the fish farm. The fish farm needs bioplastic nuggets, phytoplankton A, and silk, but it produces 195 per second animals, which is way more effective than the other two. Also considering that the, the energy usage is, is, it doesn't trade off well. So the energy on the, on the aquarium tier one is 75 per second and only gives you four animal. The energy on the aquarium tier two, although it does produce oxygen plants, insects, and animals, uh, is 225, which is pretty large for, if you, uh, if you really focused on animals, 65 per second, whereas the fish farm, oxygen, um, energy, plants, insects, and animals, but at a much higher rate, and it uses 155, which is far better than the aquarium tier two. So these are the ones you're gonna to wanna to have around, and you can put them all over the planet. So that is that. Obviously your animal score affects your biomass in a positive way. The last thing we can just look at quickly is how the unlocks work. Uh, the first thing you're gonna get under animals is the Provios egg and the Gerrero egg. So it's essentially just the, the first and the third that I, that I spoke about. Once you, have, once you have some egg production happening, uh, you will move over to the animals. For the Olani egg, you'll need, uh, I think it was at the time that I recorded, was 50 kilograms of animal in order to unlock the Olani egg. And then it, it went up from there. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing another playthrough um, with this all in mind because you know I had quite high scores on most of the things so everything was unlocked and I didn't really get a chance to record and I don't know if anything was changed between the developers branch and the stable release uh, on on the requirements on these. So I think that's where we're gonna leave it. Just a, a quick one, just to fill you in on on where the eggs are and help you get your fish and animals started. If you like the video, uh, give us a like. If you want to see more, uh, there are going to be a lot more upcoming episodes. Um, keeps me inspired and lets me know that uh, what I'm producing works and that you guys are interested. Um, give me a subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon for notifications and share the video. Uh, give us a comment if you've spotted anything that I might have missed. I look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, cheers.